Rob here. This is a quick update. We took the opportunity over the Christmas break to work on some safety features which some of our customer base have asked for and we've used the break to take some time to rewrite the code and come up with a new firmware. So this isn't massively different from the remotes of past but there has been two safety features included which is a locking function for the throttle. So when you turn the remote on, you will see that there's a new firmware number called 21.33. The new feature now is the lock function on the throttle. If I pull the trigger, nothing happens despite being connected to the box. I have my signal and I have my data. Nothing will happen. The remote needs to be unlocked for the first use. So to do that, you simply press and hold the cruise control trigger for three seconds one, two, three, the lock will go away and you'll get the zeros back, which is now implying that your throttle is ready to use. So if I was to do that, it now works. This lock feature also works if you were to fall in the water and the remote loses signal with the box for at least one second. So, so you're foiling along, you fall off, you fall on the water, and you want to climb back up onto your board and keep going, and you've got this feature turned on, the screen will come back with LCK implying it is locked and the throttle won't work. You need to press and hold the trigger again for three seconds, cruise control, unlock it, and then you can use it. So that is the basic lock feature. There is also a, another menu, which is lock time. So if I was to go into menus and scroll through to page 11, I've now got lock throttle lock time on menu 11 and menu 10 is throttle lock. So menu 10, you can simply turn this feature off completely if you do not like it and it will just function like all normal remotes. They do come, as of 2024, for safety, the throttle lock feature, feature number 10, will come on by default, but you can turn it on or off. The one that isn't set by default, because it's user defined, is option 11, which is throttle lock time. So if I was to turn this on, and you will see that there's three zeros, you simply press and hold the power button and you can scroll through each individual zero and select the time. So in this one, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So I've set it to five seconds, five, zero, zero, and I'm gonna press the cruise control twice to exit out of the menus. And now I'm back ready to go. So if I do not use the throttle for within five seconds, it's gonna lock again. So it's already locked, no throttle. One, two, three, unlocked. Now, the throttle will always work at any time unless I leave it idle for five seconds. And within that five seconds, it's going to lock again. So this is just an additional feature on top of the locking feature, which will happen when you first turn it on and you fall in the water or lose the link. This is a time-based thing. Where this might be useful is you might set, um, let's say if I was to use it, I might set it at 10 seconds. If I haven't used the throttle within 10 seconds, it will automatically lock again. The idea behind this is that if you forget the controller's on or you've got uh, someone that's inexperienced, um, you might want to force them to continuously unlock this thing so that they are fully aware of what they're doing, you can use this feature. Again, menu 10 and menu 11 are fully adjustable and you can turn them on and off. And that is the difference between the previous firmware version and this one, this one. So we're constantly listening to our customer base. We are always trying to improve and add features. Um, this is a new feature for 2024. Thanks for listening. And if you've got any help, please reach out to support. Thanks.